Spring of Faith, Simple Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, this is for you. I pre-shuffled. We're pretty much just going to get into the reading. Okay, we got the hair falling out. What have you been praying for? What have you been praying about? What have you been worrying about? Um, are you praying? Okay, for some of you, you need to be praying uh, because you've got, you know, you've got things that's going on and you want to move away from that. You know, a higher power, God, the angels, you know, they can help you move forward. See, we have movement forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, do ask for guidance. The angels and, and the universe, God, is willing, you know, and we will help you to be able to um, know which way to go, um, how to navigate. You know, we're moving from choppy water to steel water, calm water. So, ooh, you're going to move into um, a place of options, a place of um, having more, it feels like, than you had before. Um, it, it's almost like before, if you were coming from a place of um, very little, you're going to have more to choose from. You're going to have um, more options. Um, say you're used to, um, you know, having, um, we'll say sandwiches, you know, sandwiches for um, supper every day because you maybe you couldn't afford anything more. Oh, well. And now your options are bigger, you know. Um, you have the option of many more meals or the option of... Um, it's, it can be different for different people, but this is having more. This is um, things opening up for you. This is good. This looks really good. Okay, now, I don't like that card. Let's see. Why is that card here? That's what I want to know. Why? Why? Why the drama card come out? Queen of Wands. Temperance. Okay, you're going to have to balance yourself. Now, here's the thing. You're coming in as the Queen of Wands. You can you can handle this. You know, people are going to try to throw um, negativity your way. <clears throat> you're at a place in your life where, you know, maybe when you were younger, you couldn't just put your hand up and say, okay, I'm walking away from this. I'm done. You can now, and that's the thing to do. Stay positive. Don't allow anyone to take you away from your happy spot. You're manifesting what you want, and you're moving forward. Don't allow anyone to change that for you, to make that um, not happen for you. Just don't allow it. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's just, oh, put up your boundaries. It's time to put up some boundaries and some walls and... Um, not allow. Well, that card was on the bottom. It's time to end, end anything that's, you know, it's not for your higher good. That could be relationships. That could be um, ways of thinking. You know, some relationships you don't end, but you learn to cope with. You learn to put up your boundaries and not allow. Yeah, so this is a, the ending of you allowing anyone to bring their negativity on you or force it on you or, um, you know, cause you to be in a way that you don't want to be because you're taking back control. So now you are, um, it feels like, in this place of love. I feel like you're loved, but I feel like you give out love. And I feel like that, you know, happiness is going to surround you if it hasn't already. Um, now, I feel like that, you know, you've been doing a lot of looking back. But, that you know, it, it, you've been healing. You've been dealing. <laughs> so, there's been a lot of looking back, you know. And if you have healed what needs to be healed, it's time to... Stop focusing on the past and put it to rest. That's another reason the death card's here. Um, it is time to focus on 
where you want to go, what you want in your life, you know, because things are about to change for you. That's what this feels like. Or they may have already started changing for some of you. Um, but you may miss something big in your life. And this doesn't have to be, you know, some of you are like, well, it's, oh, it's just romance and I don't want romance. No. That cup could be full of so much more. This does not have to be romance. Um, so for those of you not wanting romance, no. Uh, this this could be so much more. You see all these cups here filled with so much more. So yeah, if you keep concentrating on what was but not is, you could miss what's right in front of you or what's trying to come in. Yeah. Um, see, I feel like you, you've been working really hard. You've been working really hard. It feels like on your relationships. Um, you know, your um, unions to speak, you know, relationships with your family, your friends, with yourself, you know, uh, with God, with a higher power, you know, your relationships in general. I feel like you've been taking uh, the time to do the work, you know, and if you haven't, you need to. Like I said at the beginning, do you need to pray about something? You know, do you need to uh, meditate on something? Do you need to take that time uh, for yourself and, you know, in all actuality, your relationships in your life will benefit from um, the time that you take for yourself. Yeah, that's not selfish. Uh, taking time for yourself is not selfish, so don't allow anyone to tell you that. Um, you, you've been working hard or you need to work hard on, on yourself as well as what you want in your life. <clears throat> You have the strength to create this beautiful, beautiful future that you, you desire in your life. This is beautiful. It's really got such a good feel for it. I'm not, it, it does. You know, whoever you are going forward, it's, it's like if you own yourself and if you um, take charge of yourself, build your confidence up, you got this, you know. Walk in a confidence that does not allow anyone to tear you down. You know, um, yeah, you've got this. So, I'm going to take some other cards. For one, there are them boundaries, though, that you do need to set up some boundaries, um, not allowing other people to just put the crap on you because you, you, you get in your head about it. And that's not good. You don't want to be in your head. So put up those boundaries. Um, yeah. You know, you've dealt with your karma. Yeah. So, let's see. Okay, if you you want to know around... Um, let's see around money. We're going to say around money to begin with. Okay, around money, stability, abundance, the way that you... Um, Take care of yourself or live. Now, some of you might be like, well, I don't get money, but somebody else does this or somebody else does that or you're in some kind of, you know, or something. Well, this is around that in general. Just just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Whether it's to you or to someone else or, yeah. And, you know, some people are like, well, I don't have a job, but, you know, where does your stability come from? Where does, you know what I'm saying? So it can be wherever. Around the money or the stability. Nine of Wands. Okay. Show me more. Okay, <clears throat> around money, I feel like that, um, you feel like there's not been a whole lot of, you know, it's, it's not been where you wanted it. I mean, that's what this feels like. You see all of the staffs or wands in front of her blocking her, you know. Um, it's like you feel like you've been blocked. Well, Knight of Wands, I feel like that, you know, this is you taking control. You taking control of that wand 
and in that you know in regards you will move those swans out of your way and that's what you either have been doing or you're going to do and there's that seven of cups again choices opening up to you you know around money or stability or options opening up along the way that also could be if you know if you if you work this could be um climbing a ladder or um you know and i'm talking about climbing that ladder whether it's corporate or a ladder <laughs> you know but getting where you want to be that's what that feels like yeah getting where you want to be okay that looks good that's got a good feel to it now for those of you who do want romance i'm gonna take you i'm gonna take you some cards let's take you some cards for those of you who want romance well, we got forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. And you see, that's what this has felt like, is doing that work on oneself. And that helps going forward, you know, in your life. So, you know, you'll experience more love in your present moments, but you need to do this forgiving and learning. So that's very important. <clears throat> excuse me for some reason i'm having trouble talking somebody may have um, trouble talking and speaking and telling their uh, peace or their feelings to someone else i mean that's what it's you know yeah i'm having a lot of trouble <clears throat> i sure am i want to get one of these well they give us more than one okay Okay, and this kind of makes sense for me in, in different ways, this card right here. Um, you know, this card can be around, these can be around your romance or your private life. But, this card right here, when we got that sudden change, shocking news, surprise, infinite, upheaval, transformation. It takes me to that place of where things are going to all of a sudden start changing for you. Um, but you, you know, you've, you've got yourself there or you're going to get yourself to that place. If you haven't started, start, you know, start, uh, doing your, um, meditation, start talking to God, a higher power, get out in nature, you know, be at one, um, with spirit and, you know, do the things that you need to do, you know, do that shadow work or that, um, forgiving and learning of what has went on in your life, whatever that may be. You know, do the steps that you need to do and do the work that you need to do. And if you're wanting to manifest something, put those efforts forward and bring it to you. Manifest it. Um, so that's where that takes me. Now, this one here, we got soulmate. Oh, yeah. And look, that's lightning. Oh, yeah. Strikes out of nowhere, doesn't it? So this may come at a surprise, you know, as a surprise out of nowhere where things just start changing. Um, we got the soulmate card, soul connection, partnership agreement, soul contract. So you may be dealing with a soulmate or you may be in the future. Now, I must put it out there. Not all soulmates are meant to stay in our life and bring us rainbows and cotton candy and um, all those beautiful little hearts. Some are, you know, in our lives to, um, yeah, teach us some big lessons put us through some moments that we may not want to go through but we need to go through because they help us to learn we learn those lessons we need to learn and you know you don't want to keep on keeping on doing the same thing over and over again if it's holding you back you know what i'm saying um so you don't want to keep getting the same relationships or the same um person yet they're not the same person in other words, you don't want to get the same lesson over and over and over again. So, therefore, you need to learn those lessons. So, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm going to take you an angel card. Grace and Antoinette. To help heal this situation... See the other person's point of view with compassion. You know, and I feel like this can even help, um, you know, with, in my opinion, past things as well that have happened in your life. Even, even if the person's not here, 
you know, kind of seeing it from the way you would feel that they would see it can help you to be able to um, heal it and, and, you know, deal with what you need to deal with going forward. Let's get you a spirit animal card. Number 51, Sandpiper Spirit. Be playful. So be playful in all that you do, you know, and have that light, cheery feel about you. That can help going forward. You know, have a good mindset. Be positive. Don't allow anyone to um, take you into a place of negativity. Yeah, just, just put the woes on that, you know. And that's what I've got for you. Um, give this a thumbs up. Um, share out the readings. That helps grow the channel. And, um, yeah. <laughs> and we could definitely use that. Um, also, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love. Till next time. Bye.